as you can see we have all kinds of crap in the garage so these are the rotors for the old Hilux they've arrived these babies here which are huge and trust me they are heavy 23 kilos these bad boys are for the i30N The school car has already done 56,000 kilometers and the rotors are bad. So I needed some new rotors and to get rotors through Hyundai, it was for the N was uh, $1,200 plus the pads plus fitting. So um, I said no and I did a bit of looking around and there's not much aftermarket available at the moment for the N. But I stumbled across a forum and they mentioned a guy called Godspeed and uh, he's over in the UK and he does uh, rotors for the N. So believe it or not, these are from the UK and I got them basically shipped to my door for half the price. $605 shipped to my house. I've got the pads ready to go, $189, so I'm already ahead of the game. Now I've just got to fit them and uh, that's the next stage. But let's have a look at these babies. I'm keen to see what they look like. So with the Lux build at the moment, there's a lot of stuff going on I'm meant to get into. But the way the cars are operating and the brakes, I had to stop suddenly yesterday for a big semi, a truck. And um, they still stop okay, but it started to make a horrible grinding noise. Meaning, basically the um, pads are down to the end. And it's metal on metal rather than pad. I'm a bit excited here. Whoa, far out. Whew, let's have a look. Just a bit of how to there. And we got ourselves a um, air freshener by the looks of it. Bloody hell. Look at the size of these. Oh my God. I mean, that's what's on the car. So this is Ian's uh, pattern. Okay. Um, the rotor. Look at that. 190 pounds for them, and it cost me 105 pounds to ship them. So the price is actually very, very reasonable. Hopefully they are a, a easy replacement. Oh, sweet. So, next stage, we've got to get them on. Ooh, yeah. We just need a 10 mil spanner, 14 and 17 mil spanner and socket, some gloves, a breaker bar, ratchet, a F clamp, and a Phillips head screwdriver. I've got no jack stands available at the moment because they're underneath the uh, Ningi Nugget project. But I'll take the wheel off and I'll slide it underneath the car. And I'm going to also rotate front to back with the wheels. And of course, we're going to do a brake pad change and a rotor change on an I30N. Uh, we need to take the two bolts holding the caliper onto the frame off first using a 17mm and a 14mm spanner. Move the caliper to the side. Now we have access to the brake pads themselves and we can see all the components there. We need to remove those, probably using a screwdriver or something to lever out the pads is good. And you can see how much meat that we have lost on the old pads compared to the new pads. Next we remove the caliper frame itself, now that requires a 14mm socket and a breaker bar because those bolts, they are on pretty bloody tight. Once you've loosened them off, you can then remove the frame and you're free to go at the rotor. With the rotor, it's simply two screws at the front, they're on reasonably tight but if you use some WD-40, they should unlock pretty well and then remove the rotor. Put on the new rotor and do everything in reverse. Right, it's been uh, basically two days since I did the rotor change, disc uh, rotor and pad change. 
And unfortunately I made a mistake and I want to be transparent and honest with that. When I was doing the rotors, I'll show you. I assumed, and we know about assuming. So we've got the locating screw and then that's for the, um, the wheel stud. I thought these were identical on both sides. So we can see here that the grub screw is to the left of the stud. So I just assumed that the bottom one would be the same. But when I rotate it, as much as that, it's not. So in my haste to get the wheels done, I've actually put them on the wrong side. I thought the rotation might have been out. I didn't know why. All I had to do was turn the rotor 180 degrees and uh, I wouldn't have to do them again. So I'm gonna have to go back this morning, <clears throat> won't be long, and quickly address that. I'm gonna take them off, swap them over, and all should be good. To the left of the wheel stud, I assumed that it would be the same here. When you look down, it is to the left of the wheel stud, but that's because it's at the bottom. If I simply rotate it, it's to the right of the wheel stud. Silly me. So now I've got to go and swap them because they're not on the right rotation. Next, we've got to push in the caliper piston. That's pretty easy using a clamp. Then we uh, have to screw the rotor back on. Pretty simple, line it up better than I did. Screw up the two screws. Next, we put the caliper frame on and that's two bolts top and bottom, the 14 mil bolts behind the rotor on the upright. Then after that, the pads go in, and then once the pads and all the ancillary stuff is in, we then slide the caliper on, tighten them up using the 14 and the 17 mil spanners, and she's all done. Yeah, so there you go, it wasn't too hard, it's not too daunting. Um, basically in total, eight bolts, four screws, and everything comes apart. So it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Pull it apart, take out the old pads, put in the new pads, uh, put all the ancillary things on, the little, the little clips and the, the backing plate. Um, take photos if you're not sure. Clean it all down before you do it. Um, and wear some gloves, it's probably the best. Breaker bar is really handy, so that's that nice big, actually it's down there on the Ningy Nugget, um, to get in behind there, or a very good sturdy, maybe a, a three quarter inch or half inch, sorry, um, ratchet might do it. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now look, just I want to put the word out there, I'm going to put the email address across the bottom or you can uh, com uh, message me in the comments. If you have a project that you are currently working on and you'd like to show it, because I know we all get proud of what we do, drop us a line, send us some information um, and I will endeavour to mention it in a video at the end and put up some images and pictures. Um, I do have a, a follower at the moment, a subscriber who was working on a motorbike project, got inspired by us. A big shout out to Miles, I put some pictures up here of Miles' um, uh, project. It's an old motorbike I believe, a CR80, I think it is an old 81 model, something like that, uh, from memory. Um, and he, it was apparently a farm bike or his old farm bike and he was inspired to go and grab it and restore it and he sent me a couple of photos so i'll put those up for everybody to see good luck with that miles keep me in touch mate I'd like to know what's going on anybody else as i said send in your pictures or some video um, of your project at home love you all and we'll catch you next time we flip my ride see ya